This week we have a uh, quarterly report put out. It was a couple months late, as usual, uh, speaking to the fact that the department doesn't get things done well, doesn't get them done on time. Uh, and the one thing that uh, this report showed is that the fund is no longer going negative, that we are now having a surplus. And that's a good thing. Although too many people are touting it as a bad thing. They're saying, oh, this is the first time that recycling has gone below 80% since uh, 2009 or 2008, something like that. It doesn't make any difference. But <clears throat> what is the real reason it's going down? Hopefully it's going down because we've gotten a handle on fraud and out-of-state material coming into the state. Uh, no one's talking about that. They're just saying we've got to get the recycling rates higher. But what they're, not, they're, what they're not being honest about is that once the program goes over 80%, it starts going insolvent. It starts coming to a, a precarious place where functions have to change. And one of the functions is the uh, subsidies in the form of processing payments. Uh, they get reduced. The handling fees get reduced. They call proportional reductions. And uh, when these things are imposed, it's uh, devastating to the, uh, to the program participants. Uh, this is a delivery system that we have established, and now we attack it because we've mismanaged it. And if you were to uh, impose some controls, one of the controls I would recommend is go and see what the street price is in Arizona and Nevada. Uh, when I go to Phoenix, and I see that uh, recyclers are paying a dollar, dollar a pound for aluminum cans and 50 cents for plastic. It has to come back here. So if we see those indicators still high, we know we haven't solved the problem with our importation reports, with our inspections at the border. Uh, people have figured out a way to get around it. And uh, when it goes away, when those prices drop, then we know we state has done its job and protected the, uh, the program and served the public. Uh, let me go into this now. Public servants. They're public servants. These people are public servants. And they're to serve the program. But they don't serve the program, in my opinion. I was joined in that opinion by Judge Diane Vorder of Sacramento, who in a case with USA Recycling, uh, made a determination that uh, the department was way out of line. And uh, in her decision, she says, the public was not served. And uh, I think if you go in and you read that uh, decision, you'll see that there was abuse of resources, uh, that uh, things that the state did were not effective. The same thing that they've been called on by the state auditor, uh, the return on investment, and uh, I think finance has touched on it also. Uh, and then it's an abuse of power. Uh, the, uh, the judge really spanked the state. They went after a million dollars and, uh, and revocation of the license. And she came back and she said uh, in her decision, she recommended probation for three years and uh, restitution of $300 per month over those three years. So where the state went after almost a million dollars, uh, she came up with a mere pittance, $9,000 or so. Uh, but she saw, she saw how they testified, how they presented themselves, and she wasn't happy. Uh, in the formal hearing process, state agency has the right, the ability, to ignore the judge's decision, and that's exactly what the judge did. Now, uh, they came back and rewrote the decision, and instead of going after the, uh, the recycler for a million dollars, now they're coming after them for 600000 So they got a big discount. Uh, but they also guaranteed the fact that uh, this recycler can't pay that. Uh, I don't know where they, they come up believing that recyclers can, can pay all these damages that they're, they're dealing with, but they can't. And the statute says that they must consider the ability to pay. They ignore it. So what it's done is it's ensured the state's going to incur more expense because they're going to have to defend this now in superior court. Uh, we hope 
that the, uh, the fund stays solvent. Uh, we hope that uh, they learn how to get these reports out quicker and uh, that we can make use and make sense of them. Uh, the one thing we found out in the first audit in 2010 was they weren't very good at doing the statistical analysis and that uh, everywhere they looked they found ineffective management in the program. So that's uh, the quarterly report. Uh, the fund, a little bit about politics, the ones who are saying that we must get this recycling rate back up to 85 percent, the environmentalists at California is against waste. So they're not being very honest in uh, what they're portraying either. And uh, that's quarterly report and public service. Thank you.